Well, this Esquire magazine article quotes bin Laden's shooter as saying the military unfairly ended his benefits, even though he didn't serve the customary 20 years to earn them. And now critics say service members should not get that preferential treatment or benefit financially just because their service appears in Hollywood blockbusters. On Columbia Pictures' website, you'll see Hollywood's take on the rescue of Captain Phillips. On Universal's website, you'll see an adaptation of the rescue of Marcus Luttrell in Lone Survivor. According to recent reports, Navy SEAL team member Robert O'Neill had a hand in both rescue missions. But it's his role in the death of Osama bin Laden adapted to the Hollywood screen in Zero Dark Thirty that's making new headlines. The Washington Post printed an article Thursday where O'Neill identified himself as the man that put a bullet in bin Laden's head. And there's a huge difference between kissing your kid goodnight and kissing your kid goodbye. O'Neill booked a speaking appearance in Blount County the same day where the crowd welcomed him as a hero. So how could a service member with that kind of record come under fire himself. It really is not um, something that should be talked about. I mean, because we could still have troops that are in danger. Retired U.S. Army veteran Mary Ross says it's one thing for Hollywood to glorify the mission, but another for an individual to take the credit. He's using such a high profile mission to really make money. And it's not something that is done on a regular basis. It's just not. Following her 22 years of service, she's dedicated her life to helping other veterans get the benefits they've earned. She's never seen O'Neill's personal files, but says the claims made by the then unnamed shooter in the Esquire article fly in the face of honor and service. Just because he was a Navy SEAL, just because he was on the bin Laden mission, does not necessarily qualify him for extra benefits. Now, the military is also weighing in on this issue. On Monday, the Navy Times printed an article where, the, where senior officers openly reminded SEALs and other special ops to stay out of the limelight. Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.